Hello, this is Matt from Matt Team The Apps, and welcome to part nine in our series covering all of the basics of Swift Free. In this video, we will take a look at enums. So let's jump straight into Xcode. Okay, so into Xcode, and we want to get started with a playground. We will call this enums, and we will delete this string so that we have a nice blank playground. Okay, so so far in this series, we have covered a lot of basics of Swift Free. And one of the big things that we covered was types. So integers, doubles, booleans, strings, different types of data. Now, sometimes these built-in types such as integers and booleans, they aren't enough. And sometimes we want to create our own types for certain parts of our apps and games. So we can create these custom types to make doing certain tasks as easy and as error-free as possible. So to finish off this series, we will look at different ways we can create these custom types. We will look at enums, we will look at structs, and we will look at classes, with classes being broken into two videos. So our next videos will look at different ways we can create these custom types and why we would use each. So in this video, we will take a look at enumerations, normally shortened to enums. And we would use an enum for our custom type if we are modeling a certain number of possibilities or options. So just like a Boolean can only be set to true or false, we can set up a number of options for this custom type and any variable or constant that is this custom type has to be one of the options. Now, as always, this will make a lot more sense if we look at an example. So today, our example is gonna be based around a part of a game it'll be based around the experience levels of players. So in this game, you start at a certain level and you work your way up and each of these levels have a name. So it's five different levels that our player can be in our game. So like experience levels. And these are called newbie, believer, average, epic, and megastar. So when you start playing the game, you're a newbie. And when you get some experience points, you move up to believer, then up to average, up to epic, and up to megastar. Okay, so these are the five levels. So before we use an enum for this, we will set this up the wrong way. So you can really see the benefits of using an enum. So let's have var, and this will be called player level. So their experience level. And for this, for now, we will do this as a string. So they will start off as a newbie. And basically what we want to do is have a certain message that will display next to their experience level. So for that, we could use a switch statement. So switch, we will switch on player level and we'll smash through this. So if they're a newbie, their message is gonna say, you're so new, welcome. If they are a believer, we're gonna say, keep training, you need it. If they are average, we're gonna say, you didn't come here to be average. If they are epic, we're gonna say, damn, you're getting good. And finally, if they are a megastar, we're gonna say, all eyes are on you. And then for the default, if they're not a newbie, a believer, average, epic, or megastar, we will just say, something has gone wrong. Okay, so, pull this over. So what we want to do when the player looks at their level, their experience level, we want to give them a certain message that would appear next to what level they're on. So it would say newbie and underneath it, you know, in smaller font, it would say you're so new, welcome or believer and underneath it, keep training, you need it. Just a little message to go with the experience level. Okay. So you might be thinking this is a great way of setting this up. But this is actually a really, really bad way of setting this up because so many things could go wrong. So for example, if somewhere in our code we are entering their level, we could, for example, make a typing error. So we could say, instead of a newbie, it would be, however, that's pronounced. So it's a, it's a typing error. It's a B and a W the wrong way around. Okay, so we still wanted to say, you're so new, welcome. But that message is gonna say something has gone wrong because that string doesn't say newbie. Okay, same with just small things. If we missed a capital letter to the code, this is different. And again, we're gonna print next to it something has gone wrong. And that makes our game look horrendous. That makes our game just so buggy. And finally, right, if you're making a big game and there's lots of you working on it, something could go wrong. Someone might mishear what these are. So you're in a meeting, you go through what these levels are. 
Someone might mishear you, and someone might think it was actually Epic Star as well as Mega Star. They will type in Epic Star. And again, something's gone wrong because this is not one of our levels. So with just a string, this is bad. So we're not going to do it like this. Instead, we will set up our custom type, which would be an enum. So we will say enum, and we will call this type experience level. Open curly bracket, drop a line. And here we will list all of the possible experience levels. So we will say case, and we had newbie, case believer, case average, case epic, and case megastar. So we have now created a custom type, just like an integer or just like a string called experience level. And now anytime we use experience level, it has to be either newbie, believer, average, epic, or megastar, spelt in this exact way. So just like a Boolean has to be true or false, if something is an experience level, it has to be newbie, believer, average, epic, or megastar. So for example, if we now had var player one level of type experience level, we can now say equals, and to get access to one of these, we will say experience level dot, and now we have to put in one of these values. And as you can already see, it's actually autofilling for us. So we know, looking at this, this has to be set up as average or believer or epic or megastar or newbie. So it's in alphabetical order, but still. So now if we wanted newbie, we have now set this up as a newbie. So if we made our type in error, like so, straight away, our code will kick off and say, whoa, 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 there's nothing here called nebwi. I don't know how the hell to pronounce that. Did you mean newbie? So that is one potential huge problem completely avoided. Just like lack of capital letter, it's going to say same sort of thing. You know, what is this? Did you mean this? And yes, we did. And our other problem, if we try to type in something like epic star, it's going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no such thing as epic star. So I guess the coder would then go check and be like, oh, okay, there's my problem. It should just be epic. So now we have eliminated a humongous problem by setting up a custom type, which is an enum. So now if we did a switch on this, switch player one level, what we can do is say experience level dot newbie. So if they are a newbie, their message was going to be, you're so new, welcome, the same as above. Experience level dot believer. Keep training, you need it. Now, what we can also do, because we're switching on player one level, which is an experience level, we haven't actually got to say experience level dot newbie. We could just say case dot average. Okay, and because it knows player one level is an experience level, it knows that we're pretty much saying experience level dot average. And then we need our final couple, epic, and finally, mega star. So we could say experience level dot whatever, but we haven't got to because it knows it is of type experience level. Okay, and for this switch statement, that's all we need. Now, question, what is missing from this switch statement? You might be thinking a default is missing from this switch statement. Because for all other switch statements that we have done, we've had to say a default. So if none of these were true, do this. But when we do this on an enum, because a player one level has to be one of these, we haven't got to give a default because one of these is guaranteed to be true. Okay, so now with this enum custom type, we have eliminated so many problems. So as you can see, we now have player one level set to epic and we are printing over here. Damn, you're getting good. If we set this to megastar, we'd print always on you believer, keep training, you need it, and so on. But now, if we made a typing error, so if I made a typing error in believer, because I always make a typo when I type in believer, we will no longer get this bug of saying something has gone wrong, because straight away, we know when we set this up that we couldn't have this as an option. So our code wouldn't even compile. So we know when coding it, that something's gone wrong. It's going to correct me, and there it is. Okay, so so many potential problems can be eliminated with the use of enums. Now with enums, we can take this a little bit further. And to do something like this, we wouldn't even need to set up a switch statement. Because enum cases, so our possible options, can actually hold a value. 
And one of the ways that it can do this is with raw values. So when setting this up, what we can do is say, every case in experience level is going to hold a string. And now what we can do here, we can store these messages. So we will say newbie is going to hold the string. You're so new, welcome. And each of these will hold their string. Like so. So now experience level dot newbie holds a certain string. Experience level dot believer holds a certain string and so on. And these are called raw values. So now if we set up a brand new variable, so in this case we do player two, keep it all nice and separate. Player two level is going to be of type experience level. And here again, because it now knows player two level is an experience level, we could just say dot whatever dot average. Or we could do experience level dot average either way. But quick note, if we don't say what type this is over here, we have to then say experience level dot average. OK, it's up to you. It all comes down to preference. For the sake of this, I'll type the whole thing out. OK, so now player two level is average. And again, just to really kind of clarify, because this is an enum, we can't make typos and we can't put in an option that isn't actually an experience level. And this time what we can do, we can do something like player two level dot raw value. So this says go to player two, find out what it is, which is average and go get averages raw value. You didn't come here to be average. As you can see, you didn't come here to be average. So now we can set up these raw values to do all the hard work for us. If they're epic, it will say, damn, you're getting good. If they're a megastar, it will say, always on you, because that is our raw value. So now what we can do to polish this all off is we can print one final message that says, welcome back. So you just logged in, welcome back. Your experience level is, in this case, we'll just use player two level. So your experience level is whatever their level is, dash, player two level dot raw value. So now we can get exactly what we want. Welcome back. Your experience level is megastar. All eyes on you. If they were a, if they were average, welcome back. Your experience level is average. You didn't come here to be average and so on. So now with enums, not only can we guarantee we haven't made a typo and avoid all of these potential problems, but we can use raw values to store some form of value with each of the options. And that is one of the ways that we can set up a custom type. And you would use this if you had a situation where there are a number of possibilities, just like our experience levels. So that was our look at enums. As always, post any questions down in the comments and thank you very much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.